Alright guys, thanks for joining me on this one. Today I'd like to discuss arguably the hardest part of the creative process, and that is getting started. Today, I've started with a mess of scribbles, and for a very good reason. Sometimes when you're a bit stuck, staring at a blank page can be the hardest thing. Like where do you put the first line? How hard do you press? What is the outcome going to be like? And how do you get the best form and the best beginning? And these questions are all thrown out the window when you just scribble you just put some lines on the page you put some form you put some value on the page and you let your mind pull the shapes and the forms and the lines that you desire from the mess there's something there to work with it's not just a white piece of paper or a white canvas if i'm ever stuck uh, especially creatively I usually just scribble and default to things that are otherworldly that I can be creative with and express myself with. Things like dragons, um, really gnarly wolves, or um, aliens. Things that you don't see every day that uh, are very forgiving when it comes to different design language. Like the proportions aren't familiar to everybody and sometimes you, you can make them up yourself, especially in this case. Um, there's there's not a rule of how many eyes this thing needs to have even when it comes to dragons who says that dragons only have two eyes you know the, these things that exist in mythology are a great place to explore yourself creatively and see what you can come up with um, without it needing to confine to too many rules um, sometimes setting rules is great uh, but if you're really struggling to to come up with some good ideas or to put some work out one day I encourage you just to start from a scribble like this and push it as far as you can go in this case I managed to pull out this full sci-fi alien I really really like the different design language that I used on the armor he looks straight out of the future it's something that I wouldn't have been able to come up with if I had started with inking lines and without or maybe even a cleaner to sketch I wouldn't have had this pose, these shapes come through. So this is another great reason why starting with some mess is a good way to to be unique and to be individual. Because um, if you overthink these things, sometimes you can shoot yourself in the foot when it comes to opportunity for design. Let your brain pull images out of the darkness, out of the fog, out of the, the mess that you put on the page to start and I guarantee you'll surprise yourself. It's sort of like looking up at a cloud and seeing different shapes in the clouds, how this one looks like a dog or that cloud smiling at me. The same thing applies when it comes to the creative process and putting paint or anything down on a page. Uh, thank you guys for watching. The HD download for this image will be on my Patreon. The link is in the description and a like and subscribe is always welcome. Thanks guys, catch you on the next one.